Yeah, absolutely. We we are here against Illinois State University, St. Clair College. I believe we played this team before. At least Illinois State University is a team I'm seeing a I've lot against our them. Saints. And whether it was Overwatch or other games, this team has consistently put on a show in no matter what game they've been playing against. So I'm excited to see what they have in store for us on Overwatch. Excited to see this as well. An interesting lineup from the Saints running with the Ash to start is quite a choice indeed. They're going to have to play a little bit of a sniper battle between their Widowmaker as well on the enemy side on the lowest state. So, seeing two very similar comps, just a little difference in their hit scan chance. Ultimately, you want to be pressing right click and then left clicking on heads to maximize effectivity. We're also seeing the switch back over to Rikinti from Admiral. And as they are all emerged from the point there, the enemy speed was a very small map and they're starting to skirmish off. Red X in a very good position to be healing the rest of the team. So we getting up, finding more ground in the Orisa, but missing the spear and the shield is already down. So the Saints are forced into an early retreat and they're also taking a huge burst of damage as they're trying to get away from here. But Kuffa doing a great job keeping his team healthy and active. Forcing the Saints back into a little trench, and this is going to be a nice opening, allowing one of his teammates to go back and capture the points. Exactly what's going to happen, and the Saints are now finally pushing out of that funnel. Kuffa uh, section anybody off lines. A nice spear on the Soaks, not going to do, do too much on the damage department, though, but it's still going to cripple the Saints. Push back. Lethal trying to find a headshot. Nox is going to be able to take down the enemy Juno, and Admiral's down to no supports left for Illinois State University, and that means the Saints are going to be able to come back and capture the point. Nice little wipe. Not a full team but had the same effect as one as they're finally taking down this Arissa Saints finding their way back into this game. Yeah, they found their way back into the game, only giving up 12% over to Illinois State, but that's quickly going to get equaled out and exceeded by St. Clair College. Now, it's a very interesting point, a lot of give and take of space here. You don't want to be pulled up in that middle there. Still the two open three angles to cover. You want to be back near your side. You see the Saints fall back. A lot of push and pull between the teams right now. The Arisa is facing off against Jerome. Nice spear from Squeak pushes the Arisa on the back line here, on the back foot. A point has flipped over to Illinois State University, and now they're looking at taking themselves into leak. Beautiful snipe by Lethal back to back. Both DPS is off the board. Oh Three Lethal living up to their name here, just racking up the kill score. That's incredible. Five in a row for Lethal here, just decimating the Saints. More fragile heroes here. If you're not at full HP, even if you are, you're still in danger. Lethal finding Razor once again. It's not easy, ladies and gentlemen, to get those headshots, especially on Genji. He runs with his head crouched down, basically <laughs> full dome protecting it, and still fighting his kills. Very impressive. But looking at the alt economy, Illinois State four in their back line. Saints with three, working with Squeak about to get there. So hopefully they're going to be able to make a play pushing up out of this little stairwell. They're going to be committing all the offers that they can. Lethal's going to fight two amidst all the Chaos Soaks. Not far behind. Red X is going to go down as well. That's another successful hold from Illinois State University. The Saints are forced back. Squeak has the ultimate. Razor's uh, about to have one. Soaks still has the rally. So this is going to be the last opportunity for the Saints to make something happen here. Yeah, very few opportunities left for the Saints to rally this one up and try and take it back. And these points are going to be so, so crucial here, as now we know this is a best two out of three. Every single one of these points is so, so much more valuable here. And my own here just going crazy with the Dragon Blade Razor, popping one oh of his own. God. Genji's just cutting up the entire enemy team. Team kill for, I think... Yeah, that's Illinois State yeah. getting the team kill there. And that's, well, hey, you know what? That's round one going away from Illinois State University. Wrap it up, Saints. You tried. Uh, but as soon as the Dragon Blade got drawn by uh, Waymon there, it, there's really not much you can do. That was so well executed, finding all the picks that you needed. Saints were just cut down, pun heavily intended, and <laughs> weren't really able to patch up the wound in time to fix themselves and get into a position to win the game. And can't really blame them. Not a lot of time left on the clock. You just got to take that game figure out what was going wrong. You got a nice 20 seconds to talk it out, hopefully civilly, <laughs> before you have to get things done all again. Yeah, you got, you got time here. You know, this is a good reset. This is much more open side of the map, a little bit less conducive mm -hmm. to that push and pull. There's more push than pull. A little float bit. around. Yeah, <laughs> you got to float around. A little bit more verticality to play with as well. Now going into this next side, the Saints really need to win this one or else Illinois State is going to take that game one in record time. We're seeing a lot of hit scan coming on the side of Illinois State. We're seeing Anna and Lethal, essentially not necessarily hit scan, but same effect with Anna, you know, 
though. It's a projectile, but it feels like a sniper rifle. In any case, Saints are going to have to try to make sure they don't get picked off, they don't get slept, they don't get the anti-healing, and it would be so devastating if this uh, if this Alan is going to be able to find a really good grenade. That would devastate the Saints' the whole strategy, really. Red X would be completely ineffective for that brief moment, and we wouldn't be able to get a lot of value out of the river. So, Lethal's going to find Noxious on the Cassidy. Razor's not too far behind going down on the Genji. That's DPS down for the Saints, and they're going to have to play in the back foot as Illinois State University taking down Red X as well. They're going to have full control of this point as the Saints are getting picked off, and now the Saints are going to have to come back with a counter push. Yeah, they have quite a bit Ooh. of work to do. Good reflect, but it's not going to add up to all too much. It didn't result in Already kill. healed. That's already healed. Already got out. Now... The Saints have a really tough position here. They need to try and push on this point. There's so much coverage on the side of Illinois State. And the old economy is looking so good for Illinois as well. And now with the tank down, pretty much the entire Saints push is in shambles now. Yeah, and Squeak going down really just marks the turning point of this fight. Actually, so it's still going to commit the rally cry. And it's going to be wow. very effective keeping the Saints alive. Basically, with Brigitte Ultimate, you lose your tank, but everyone else on your team becomes a tank. <laughs> so you can still make a push happen, you can still make it work, and that's going to be a 36% cutoff for Illinois State as the Saints are now taking control. All they have right now is the Nano Boost, Winston about to have the Rage, so that is, you know, a classic combo all this time itself. If they can find a perfect setup for it, it would be devastating as Lethal hiding behind the corner could find Red X. Oh, the movement. <laughs> Beautiful. He just knows you have to be careful at all points in time, and he actually has a UFO as well, and I think he's going to commit it right away, keeping the team healthy, keeping the team active on this point, not going to allow Kappa with the Rage Nano Boost combo to get too much done. Soaks is most likely going to fall here, going to get knocked off the map, but the rest of the Saints are able to hold their ground and resist. And actually, no, going to get wow. set off and shot down immediately. Radix is still going to be able to take down Waymon in the meantime. No tracer for them, but still, they have to fight hard on this point to not lose it. It's not going to go their way, however. Squeak is going to fall the rest of the Saints. Kaffa really doing a lot of work here on the Winston. Saints respawning. Razor has a Dragon Blade. Admiral with the Rally. Saints don't have any of the press and success ultimates yet, and it's not really close. Illinois State, I favor them for this next team fight for sure. Yeah, if they play around Squeak's ultimate, though, they might be able to turn this one around if they get a lot of players jumbled up in there. But now, with Soaks going down, that's going to delay the push even further and get Illinois State even closer to that goal line. The problem with uh, Admiral having the ultimates, like we saw before, it turns your entire team into tanks, basically. And with the combo of Razor and Squeaks using their ultimate, it's really strong. But when you have that rally up, it basically counters it. So it's two ultimates for one. It's a trait you don't want to be making. And it's one thing you might have to go for here as we're seeing Nox just with the Tracer dashing and trying to find something. It's going to be a little bit of an opening for the team as they're forced back on the side of Illinois State University. Widowmaker desperately trying to find a pickoff. And uh, they're kind of recognizing that the Saints are pushing down with the rest of the team with the anti-heal grenade. We're going to see the rally come out from Admiral and Squeak go for the ultimate. It's not going to get off though. Razor using the Dragon Blade trying to cause as much disruption as possible. Fighting Lethal locking in with the wow. perfect reflect, getting the headshot. That is a huge opportunity for it towards the Saints, and they just have to capture the point. It's a bit of a fight here on this bridge, but the Saints with boots on the ground, they just need to touch one more time and it'll be so oh, close, but no, no they're losing a squeak coming in with the Doom Fist. This could be the last chance the Saints have yeah, to no. hold through in this game one. Waymon with the Tracer is going to take them down, resist the push, and unfortunately, despite the perfect opportunity afforded by Red X, not going to be able to clear things up. Saints going to lose this one. It's 1-0 against Illinois State. A match full of absolute pandemonium there. We got to hand it over to Mamone there. Absolutely insane all around. This blade, that was when you knew this was going to go Illinois State's way. I mean, just look at that. I, that was nearly an entire, I think it was an entire team kill there. That is absolutely ridiculous. If it wasn't, then it was in my heart. And I feel like that's, that was like an Overwatch cinematic. I felt like that, but you could see that in a trailer. The push into it, yeah. Literally, like that seems like something real Genji would have accomplished in Overwatch lore. But these are just 
the players in the match. They have literal, real, in real life Genji to play against <laughs> on the side of the Saints, and hopefully they're going to be able to figure something out to make this work because that was devastating. But hey, you know, Red X also pulling a little bit of a Genji there with that perfect reflect, fighting the headshot on the Widowmaker right in front of them the moment you needed it the most. But again, unfortunately, Saints still going to lose that fight ultimately. It was a really good play from Illinois State University, not allowing the Saints to really find their foothold and dig their boots in the ground to establish what realistically wasn't uh, it too important impossible mm -hmm. of a hold like they were there it was attainable they were there say, yeah <laughs> they just didn't let them do it i was really convinced we we're going to see them extend it but unfortunately not i think it was just use of the alt economy overall because it felt like every single time the saints made a good push illinois state had an ultimate that could just shut it down or mm -hmm. disrupt it in some way and the saints just needed one perfect push and they were just unable to get it and it was like the like we were talking about, yeah, ultimate usage and ultimate economy. The little, the, my tiny Overwatch brain kind of sparking together to realize the little nuances in the exchanges that occur, you know, the classic combo with the Orisa and the Genji ultimate. But if you have the Brigitte ultimate, that's two for one, basically. Mm -hmm. You have one ultimate that kind of nullifies two. Obviously, you could still wreak havoc against the Brigitte ultimate if you don't find too much value off it, but it's... Theoretically, if your team is playing well, the Brigitte ultimate would be all you need to kind of withstand the push from that. So I feel like a lot of those micro, macro plays yeah. um, kind of added up to make those differences. But the Saints still have at least one more map to try to fight for their chance to come out in the series. And if they do, then we'll have to go to one more. Yeah, and with one last map, that's going to be New Junk City, the last map we saw last time. It's going to be another flashpoint with the volatility of that map mode i feel like it might be even tougher for the saints for how mm -hmm. quick illinois state was to jump onto these points and get control the saints i think will have more attempts to do so but it's gonna be very tough i feel like one of the biggest dividing factors was seeing the disengagements coming up from both teams i feel like illinois universities um, illinois state universities disengages were a lot more clean um i felt like especially in that first push on that first round um seeing the saints recognize they didn't have the game state uh in their advantage to push and keep going they kind of got cut off squeak was taking too much damage and they started retreating but i felt like there was a little bit of lag in that retreat and that mm -hmm. did end up costing them a lot of time and affording illinois state more percentage than they really needed to come away with and obviously more percentage on the point also more percentage on the ultimates and it comes down to these small gaps that afford your team an alt advantage and obviously those win team fights at the end Exactly. And one thing I'm noticing a lot is uh, that Widowmaker Lethal is an absolute game changer on yeah. the side of Illinois. <laughs> Let's not just being able to one shot many players on the team mm -hmm. just changes the, the, the current of the team fight. We it's saw how Red was just insane. in the air, just like. Yeah, no. he had to be like pressing d d A and D, spamming you know. them just to not get headshot there. And it still almost did. It almost <laughs> did. Yeah, he was tracking them. It was like, I'll let him lose. Uh, I don't want to give away my yep. position. But, you know, giving your opponent carpal tunnel is a valid strat. <laughs> and it, it does wear down. It does, People kind of don't account for the fact that there is physical wear that goes on in these competitions. And tiring your opponent out mentally and physically are real things. So I feel like that Widowmaker is doing a huge toll on both. I might want to see the Saints now knowing that there's going to be a Widow going and just go for something like a Winston. Wait, something that can bring widow? a shield, right? That can cover up some of these angles the Widow can watch. But no, we're going to stick with the Orisa and it looks like a very similar team comps all around. Yeah, I feel like a Winston play especially on this map might be a little bit too different than they're comfortable with. Um, one thing I know for sure, at least what I'm being told, is the Orisa is just something that you don't really want to sacrifice if you don't have to. It's just such a do-everything tank. And except I for see, shields. Uh, except for shields. Yeah, exactly. it does if, everything if but that. If shields, then literally there's no point being she, anyone else. She used to, which is the insane thing. <laughs> yeah, you remember that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's the thing. You don't want to sacrifice the Orisa. If you sacrifice your Orisa, sure, you get the shields, but you kind of lose your team fight, basically. Exactly. Um, it, it's a difficult compromise to make, but that's why you have Brigitte here, to fill that hole. And uh, Still, it's a small shield, but it's a shield nonetheless, and it does afford some opportunities for your teammates. But we're getting off of the first fight here. We're seeing Squeak trying to section off Illinois State University. It's not going to go the way. Couple and Lethal finding two already. Red X is down. Zoe's noxious. DPS gone for the Saints, and you have to just sacrifice. You don't want to retreat here. You want to see what you can get. They're at least going to be able to take down Admiral, and uh, no one else on the side of Illinois State University. Saints are getting team wiped here. Um, at least Admiral not going to be getting three percentage, I guess. Hey. Yeah, yeah not uh, 
Not a good start for the Saints, but a great start for Illinois State University. They are looking very good. I mean, look at the ultimate percentages as well. They're, oh, they're nearly over halfway there. 68 now on lethal. That's the worst alt in the game, though. Well, yeah. it's not It's not like a... For lethal, though. It, it's good. It's good info, but it's not... Info is everything in these circumstances when you are playing at this level of play. Squeak so exactly. low HP, forced to retreat. Red X going to be doing his job, killing him back up. But the speed wing is going to allow Illinois State to get to the back lane and start causing some damage. Red X trying to keep Soaks up. Shield is going to break eventually. And we have the spinning staff trying to force them all back. But Lethal Admiral Kuffa, they're going to find wow. the picks that they need. Squeak is going to fall right after. And Red X trying to take down Kuffa and almost succeeds. But ultimately, he's going to get taken down once again. The Saints have control of that. Flash point, not even I recognize that, but of course Illinois State did. They're gonna take it back and try to find a more pickoffs here. Saints trying to get back into this game. But with that infrared vision, hopefully they can find something. Sweet does take out lethal. So that Widowmaker's not gonna be back for now. We're gonna see the speed rings come into play, looking for an opportunity to admiral with the rally. Keeping the scene healthy. We're gonna take down Noxious with that staff slam. Dragon Blade is taken out by Wimon, and it's gonna be able to find Soaks. Noxious is already still dead, and they're trying to find that point. Saints are gonna find it. But Illinois State University is not, not too far behind. They're going to use as many alts as they can, though, on the side of the Saints to try and secure this. Razor getting two with the Dragon Blade. Three! <laughs> trying to get a team wipe with his partner there, Squeak. And now Saints are going to get a foothold here, try and get themselves back into the game. 50% now for the Saints. This is definitely doable. Razor really pulling through with the team. As, as plays like that are only made possible when your team is playing at maximum effectivity. So they finally had a team fight go their way. Their plan went as executed and as planned. 70% Saints have to hold this down. Mino with the UFO call on Juno and Nox just committing the dead eye, seeing what he can find. Not going to be too much. Razor is going to be able to take down Lethal, however. Cuff of finding Noxious. Squeak is really low HP. Red X not even keep him alive, and Luke Mino is going to take him down with 6 HP, but able to get back up to full. We're seeing if they can keep themselves here. Razor and Soaks, last man standing for the Saints, but no can do. Razor's down, and that's going to be the flashpoint going the way of Illinois State University. It was a close fought one the saints were really bringing it back but not able to get it back in the end fully exactly the saints are beginning to figure this out i think they're improving it markedly from the last few times we've seen the play against illinois state university but still there's so much pressure and momentum on the side of illinois state university and with that extra first point it's going to be tough for the Saints to claw this one back. Yeah, 10 seconds to this one on blocks, and we're seeing Orissa on the side of Illinois State University already commit this, or have the ultimate in line. Admiral with another rally. I thought he just had it, and actually going to use the ultimate on the side of the Orissa, taking down Noxious once again. Soaks also down. Saints' back line's completely wiped out, which means that the front line is not going to go out without much of a fight. And that's going to be squeak out of the game for now as well. A 40 Illinois State University, the first or the next flashpoint as soon as it spawns up. Saints looking to fight their way back into this opportunity to take this flashpoint. Finding, oh, I thought he found a kill there, but just took down a Venomide. I thought that was just huge, like a random uh, shuriken sure throw from <laughs> Razor, but not able to find it. 30% for Illinois State University. Saints struck to find it back. They found their way back, but when the hour is darkest, the Saints seem to find some way through to the light here. Noxious finds one, Razor finds a nice reflect on Lethal. That could be their opening thread. Mino finding one, Kuffa finding another. That's going to be a big pick on the side of Illinois staying Kuffa, just running through the Saints. Oh, but hey, you know, Noxious was kind of getting percent there. Almost captured the point sneakily. Uh, wouldn't have been too advantageous for the Saints, but at least would have afforded a little bit more time. 80% on the board. Saints probably is going to hold onto their ults for this last flash point. They can't really afford to misplay here. They don't want to take a big risk. Just let this one go to Illinois State. Play for the next one. And hopefully you can take control, especially since Illinois State doesn't have really any ultra support at the moment. Exactly. But the problem with Noxious dying there at the end is now this push has been delayed to the last oh. possible moment. They're not going to get there in time. And he just spent his ult. He's not going to have it in. They use so many resources. They're going to be committing now. Illinois State University is going to be trying to fight their way back. And they're going to be taking down all of the Saints as they're going down one by one. They had to commit some ultimates there. I believe they used Kuffa's and Lethal's about to get his. Admiral still has his. So they're actually getting close to the Saints ult uh, economy here. So Saints held onto their ultimates to, and sacrificed that last point to Illinois State University. But in the end, it, it seems like it might not have been too much. And Lethal finding two headshots just for free right now. Taking down Stokes and Red X. 
I'm not sure what led to that circumstance. Might have been pre-planned by the Saints or something like that, but still, we're seeing Squeak fight for his life against Lethal, gonna be able to take him down, and hopefully this could be the smart of a new opportunity for the Saints to get into this point. They'll have to also get on the board for the Saints Admiral with the rally. Can they make something work here? It's going to be a tough fight for Illinois State University, but they're doing a good job at controlling where the Saints are. But the Saints have broken through. There's the Orisha. Orisha ult doesn't find a kill, but finds some damage there. We're seeing Red X go in, has to get out, pops the ult. Now it's not going to be enough. Luke Mina and Kuffa and the rest are just picking them all off one by one. Squeak finds one. That's Luke Mino, a support, getting three kills. Kuffa getting all the rest, and that's going to be a team kill for Illinois State. What's so unfortunate about that is I really saw, it, it was obviously visually confusing in that little tiny hole, but what I saw was it looked like Illinois State kind of got pushed into the corner, the perfect opportunity for the Dragon Blade follow-up, no but whatever happened in the darkness there kind of turned things around for the Saints, and Illinois State came out on top and were able to completely wipe down the Saints, even though they had the ultimate deficit. Soaks, are gonna use the Rally, try to keep the team healthy and active here. Romaymo is gonna go down, Noxious as, as well. They're both down in DPS on these teams, but Soaks fighting so hard against the Orisa on Kuffa, but still not gonna be enough. He's gonna be still standing strong, and in fact, Squeak is gonna go down instead. Razor Soaks all going down. Red X is gone, and that was the last wow. breath for the Saints. Completely gone, drained out. Illinois State University taking the game too. Illinois State University stating their dominance right here with their skills, and we gotta give props to Luke Mino there with the Uraraka skin. Absolutely insane gameplay all around. It was nearly a team kill just based on this one ultimate and the, the clean gunplay. I mean, look at the kill feed. Absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the moment I was talking about there. Uh, Illinois State were kind of all pushed into that corner, but there wasn't really an opportunity for the Saints to follow up on partially. And thanks to Luke Mino really doing a good job of keeping Illinois State very healthy and obviously getting so many kills, you must be doing something right, really threatening the Saints in those team fights. Yeah, I think the Saints were just a little messy there too. There's some mm. small mistakes that really added up, I think, to Illinois State exploiting those mistakes and securing their 2-0 here today. But overall, it was a good showing from the Saints so far, but I'm excited to see what will happen next. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to see what the Saints are going to be doing in their next series if we have one. And I feel like they adapt really well. And whenever they go against a strong opponent, opponent like, a, like a Saiyan, they come back stronger every time. <laughs> so I want to see what power-ups lie in store for our roster. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it right over to a quick break. And we'll be right back with more stuff.